Hilmar Klint's groundbreaking images were created in the early years of the 20th century, before the dawn of abstract art in Russian Europe and nearly a decade before the official pioneers of abstraction. And even today, the art world is somewhat confused on how to view Hilmar's visionary art. Imagine you lived at the turn of the 20th century when X-rays, radioactivity, electromagnetic waves and wireless communication were discovered. The unseen was revealed. This was the exciting era that Hilma was living in and in which scientific developments were quickly changing lives and society. At this moment I have knowledge of in the living reality that I am an atom in the universe that has access to infinite possibilities of development. These possibilities I want gradually to reveal. Hilma devoted an entire series to the concept of atoms and evolution, both major topics of discussion at the turn of the century. For Hilma, science and spiritual thought were intertwined in many ways. Because if you could speak on the phone over long distances, why couldn't the living speak to the dead? And like so many at the time, Hilma was involved with seances and experimented with, with spirituality and was a huge inspiration for her. The pictures were painted directly through me, without any preliminary drawings and with great force. I had no idea what the paintings were supposed to depict. Nevertheless, I worked swiftly and surely without changing a single brush stroke. Her works are not concerned with abstraction of colour shapes for its own sake, but are an attempt to portray that which is not visible. When Hilma died in 1944, she left behind 1,300 non-figurative works that had never been seen or shown to any outsiders, as well as more than 125 notebooks. In her will, she wrote that her life's work could not be shown publicly until 20 years after death and that her art collection never to be split. Hilma was a strong believer that her art was made for the future to be seen, and that future is now.